welcome back to the channel. Thanks to the awesome team over at Character Options, we're going to be taking a look at some of the brand new Doctor Who b &M sets for 2021. And oh my goodness, I'm super excited to be able to showcase some of these off to you guys. Every single year, us Doctor Who collectors believe that the b &M sets cannot get any better. But here in 2021, I believe that character have reached a peak, especially where those three packs are concerned. Now, for those of you looking to add these to your collection, at the time of this recording, they are only available in stores. And I believe they should start hitting stores the week commencing the 2nd of August. So definitely begin to check some of your B&Ms as these guys could potentially be on the shelves. And I think that these are going to sell out like hotcakes. Now taking a very quick look here at the packaging, here we've got the Keys of Mariner set. And oh my goodness, we're actually getting one of the first Doctor's companions. This is the first time we're ever getting a William Hartnell companion in the five inch line. And I absolutely cannot wait to see what this guy looks out of packaging. And we're also getting two Ford Warriors. Who would have thought that we would have actually got these in the B&M sets? These look absolutely fantastic. You can see Keys of Mariner based on the 1964 story as we spin around here to the back of the box we've got some really cool product shots there of Ian Chesterton as well as Vord 1 and Vord 2 setting this here off to the side and taking a look at the Sensorite set we've got the first Doctor portrayed by William Hartnell I believe this particular deco is very similar to what we got with the 13 Doctors set and you can see two Sensorites here so we've merely got a generic Sensorite here as well as the Sensorite Elder there with the sash and just taking a look here at some of the product shots on the back you can see we've got a very brief bio for those who wish to read it and of course what B&M wave would be complete without some Dalek sets. So we have two history of the Dalek sets. This here is set number five. This is based on the power of the Daleks. This particular version is the mutant scoop Dalek and as we just spin around here to the back you can see here some really awesome product shots as well as once again a really nice brief bio as well as some behind the scenes and we also have got here the history of the Daleks day of the Dalek set and you can see we've got the golden supreme as well as finally the gunmetal Dalek. We've gotten a grey Dalek in the past but never one that actually looks this awesome in gunmetal and as we spin around here to the back you can once again see a very brief bio there on the story as well as some behind the scenes based on this particular Doctor Who story so without further ado let's crack these open and take a closer look at these awesome looking figures so to kickstart this video off we'll firstly take a look at the power of the Daleks collector set and these guys look fantastic just setting them here off to the side of course we get included a really really nice graphic in the box so you can see here the detailing on that is excellent and for those that wish to actually display this within their Doctor Who collection or actually use this for photography then I think this is going to be really, really handy. The Daleks look excellent actually being placed inside here. But taking a look at the main event themselves, here we've got the Daleks. So we have here a generic drone. This actually looks really awesome. You can see we've got the orange bulbs here for the ear sections. They are using a different eye stalk here in order to achieve the much smaller pupil, which I actually think has been replicated really, really nicely. You can see the attention to detail as well as the paintwork on that's turned out sublime. As we move our attention here down to the lower section, we've got an awesome shade of metallic silver used for the dome section of the Daleks head as well as here for the neck brace and you can even see here for the slats on the side I think the hemispheres also look excellent all of the blues come out really really precisely that looks fantastic of course we've got the exterminator gun there as well as the plunger one thing worth mentioning if you're an old timer like me and remember picking up one of the first ever Dalek collector sets that came with that awesome supreme Dalek then you'll know that the paint on these actual sections did have a tendency to chip and that is also apparent here with this particular Dalek so I wouldn't necessarily recommend manipulating the sucker or the gun around all that much as sadly the silver paint will chip but just in regards to a display this has turned out really really nicely of course we've got the wheels as well as this one here that can roll around so that's awesome and the articulation is exactly the same as all of the other Daleks so the head can rotate the full 360 the eye stalk can look up and down but once again be cautious of the silver paint that we've actually got applied to this section and the plunger can also move around on a ball joint as so can the exterminator gun taking a look here at what is probably the main event of the set here we've got the mutant scoop Dalek now this is essentially the same Dalek that we just took a look at although this time with the much larger pupil which I think looks really really cool you can see there definitely a stark difference when in comparison to the generic Dalek drone and we of course get this brand new attachment that being the mutant scoop now sadly no paper mache green mutant actually has been applied to this which is slightly unfortunate especially considering the old 3.75 inch figure did come with one of those but I actually think as a Dalek variant this is one that we've wanted in the collection for quite some time and here's hoping that eventually we will actually get a mutant to be housed in this you can see here the detailing on that looks really really cool you can see the grates there and this has been completely painted in an awesome very reflective metallic silver so that once again is a Dalek variant that I'm super happy to add to the collection and one thing also worth mentioning is that both of the Daleks do have some dry brushing applied here to the base just to give you that weathered and battered appearance so definitely here for the power of the Dalek set this once again is awesome and for those of you who wish to collect these in order to army build then this here is certainly going to be a set that I can see being highly sought after taking a look at the day of the Dalek set out of the two Dalek sets this one here is by far my personal favorite as the gunmetal Dalek just looks incredible but once again we'll take a very quick look here 
at the backdrop you can see some really nice easter eggs going on i love the attention to detail on these they're such a nice inclusion and honestly it's something that they don't necessarily have to do for these releases so it is awesome to actually see these be included you can see here some fantastic graphics and much like the power of the dalek set these daleks look excellent actually being placed within this but actually taking a look here at the daleks themselves we'll kick start this particular segment off with taking a look at what is probably the most sought after variant out of this particular set that being the gunmetal dalek at long last and i think the character options this time around have absolutely knocked it out of the park the color of paint they've used is a perfect recreation of what we actually saw from the story and i think this is one of my favorite dalek variants to date of course we've gotten gray daleks in the past but never really a proper gunmetal dalek so to get this guy is excellent i would have loved to have gotten a three pack so that we could have had the golden supreme and two of these gunmetal daleks but i guess if you really wanted to army build these you could just pick up another set and then sell on the supreme dalek but you can see they're really nice attention to detail i think the paintwork on all of these figures have turned out so so nicely it certainly leaps and bounds better when in comparison to some of the earlier bnm sets characters certainly are taking a lot more care when they are making these particular figures but you can see here fantastic shade of gun metal there and i really love the metallic black that we've got going on here for the hemispheres and how it does in fact actually differentiate itself from the darker gun metal that is excellent you can see there we've got the silver manipulator arm as well as the actual exterminator gun itself and you can see some really nice looking detail applied to that as well as here for the neck brace and the actual slats around the side so really really awesome looking dalek very quickly taking a look here at the dalek supreme you can see here that once again this too has also been painted really really nicely especially where that neck brace is concerned this time it's been completely done in that awesome metallic gold and i think this is the best version we've gotten of the golden supreme dalek to date you can once again see very nice reflective black used here for the hemispheres for the most part all of the paint has been applied exceptionally well of course there's a little bit of wear and tear here to the actual manipulator arm which is why i personally wouldn't necessarily recommend actually articulating this too much but you can see the really nice golden paint for the socket joint here of the gun i think the attention to detail as well as the tiny little pupil there for the eye looks awesome and of course you've got the tiny little ears or the light bulbs of the dalek here which have been sculpted really really nicely so overall definitely a fantastic looking dalek set and like you'll hear me mention throughout this video is actually one of the better dalek sets i believe we've gotten from the bnm wave so far of course they can all roll around so we've got the same two wheels pinned as well as the articulated wheel at the front so that really does allow you to rotate these Daleks and manipulate them in whatever way you so desire. Then we turn our attention to the first of the all new three packs. Now, honestly, this is a set that I'd never even thought we would have gotten way back in the day when the Doctor Who line was at its peak, let alone in the form of a BM exclusive. And this has turned out so, so nicely. So not only are we getting some brand new figures of some first Doctor villains, that being the Vord, but we're also getting our first ever figure of Ian Chesterton, which is just so, so awesome. And with this guy's release, we are no doubt going to be seeing Bob and Susan on the horizon which I'm super excited for. Something else which is also new for these particular three packs is that the now included insert is in fact a graphic much like the Dalek set so that is awesome I really love the attention to detail on these they're a really awesome display piece and are great for photography but actually taking a look here at the main figures themselves I've got to be honest and say that I think the board have turned out so much better than I ever could have imagined they look exceptional now they are using a Shara's Jack as their actual base mold so the main torso as well as the legs I believe are taken from Shara's Jack but they've got brand new hands brand new head they've of course got this new sash section and we've got some brand new feet so certainly a lot of tooling going on with these guys and of course they do come with their dagger accessories and they are in fact actually different in design to one another which i'll showcase in just a second but you can see here the attention to detail in regards to the actual helmet design i think is exceptional we've got a really nice shade of glossy black there used for the eyes i think the detailing here at this crest section also looks excellent we've got some minute details here such as where i imagine the actual actor would be able to hear out of and as we just take a look at here from a back perspective you can see how we've got this very awesome jagged section i think the attention to detail on this honestly is excellent you can see some nice silver paint here for the actual pouch of his blade and as we turn our attention to that sash you can see all of these different various buckles and the finger detailing also looks exceptional we've got that webbed section in between the fingers which looks awesome and you can also sort of see that here for this actual gripping hand but then as we move our attention down to the lower section we've got some silver buttons there and of course the scuba diving shoes which i actually think looks super super cool here for this particular guy you can see they're done in a really nice glossy black we've got some of the buckle and braces here on this particular section and you can see some really nice crisp and precise detailing going on there overall it's just a fantastic figure and considering they are utilizing a newer body type that being Shara's Jack we do actually get articulation which can hinge outwards which is awesome now I shan't go into the articulation all that much as it's probably what you guys will come to know and expect but the head can rotate the full 360 we get a full range of motion here at the hand and these feet can also rotate the full 360 so 
so that is awesome. As we take a look here at Vord 2, you can see the main difference is that we now have a triangular section here for the crest instead of a circular piece, and the silver does in fact apply to a different region. So instead of here for the lower section, we now have it where the neck is, but other than that, they are the exact same figure, but I'm just so, so glad to actually get these guys in the collection. They look awesome. But turning our attention to Ian Chesterton, I know this will be a figure that so many classic Doctor Who figure collectors have been after for so many years, and honestly, is a character that I think all of us have pretty much given up hope on but nope here in 2021 we've actually got our first official figure of this guy and I couldn't be any more happier I think the attention to detail as well as likeness to the actual actor is phenomenal you can see there we've got some really nice detailing around the mouth region I just think the likeness has been captured so nicely of course the paint especially where the forehead is concerned I believe has been applied a little too thickly but it certainly leaps and bounds better when in comparison to say the likes of the 12th doctor figure and you can see there we've got some really nice looking detail as well as paint going on for the hair the body is the exact same as what we've seen with a previous figure I believe either the master or it may have in fact even been taken from one of the older primeval figures but you can see really nice sculpt work as well as paint going on for the tie and the overall suit as well as the finger detailing I also think has turned out really really nicely so overall in regards to the keys of Mariner set this is certainly going to be a hot seller and I actually think this is one of if not the best B&M collector set that we've ever gotten and to wrap this review up here we've got the Sensorite pack now much like the keys of Marinus, this is a particular set that I could have never possibly imagined to be released as part of the BM wave as the sensor rights are so so awesome and I'm really just glad to once again get these characters into the collection in order to really fill the void of the first Doctor villains as of course we've up until this point really only ever gotten Cybermen and Daleks for this guy but nevertheless before we take a look at the figures of course we also do get included a really nice graphic in the box so just to go over the detailing there you can see we've got some really nice what appear to be almost computers you can see we've got a circular section there taken from the story I just think this is a really nice intention to detail and it's something that they didn't have to include with this particular release it looks awesome when being utilized for photos which hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate throughout this review but setting this here off to the side and actually taking a look at the set these are fantastic now we'll begin with what is probably the most lackluster figure out of the collection that being the first doctor as of course portrayed by the awesome William Hartnell now for those who have picked up pretty much any other first doctor release you'll know exactly what to expect with this guy there's no new adjustments made to the mold albeit this time he is sporting a slightly different color variation now i do believe this is the same paint deco that we got as part of the 13th doctor set which i personally am really happy about sadly i was never able to actually acquire that set you can see a fantastic likeness there to william hartnell i think the attention to detail looks excellent really nice looking paint as well as sculpt work going on here for the torso and the checker design here to the trousers i also think has been applied really nicely and you can see how we've almost got this weathered effect applied to these in order to make them battered and worn so definitely a really nice inclusion and of course you've got to get the first doctor packaged in here with the Sensorites, but taking a look at what is undeniably the main event of the set, here we've got the Sensorites. These are awesome. These have actually turned out so much better than I could have ever possibly imagined. Now, much like the Vord, these are utilizing that Sharas Jack as a basis for the body, but I think the attention to detail to the actual face sculpt is remarkable. This looks exactly how it did on screen. These figures are just so, so well done. You can see all of the little wrinkles here at the top of the forehead. I think the attention to detail there of the furry eyebrows, as well as the silver here for the eyelid has come out so so nicely we've got the bearded section there which looks awesome taking a look here at the back you can see that really abstract looking head shape but taking a look here towards the back of the figure the paintwork looks excellent we do in fact get included some accessories now correct me if i'm wrong but i do believe these are their tiny little mind reading devices it's been so long since i've actually watched that story but you can see there really nice sculpt work as well as silver paint and we've also got some adjustments made to the sculpt such as the addition of this particular segment but just check out the paintwork there on the side of the forearm as we take a look here down to the lower section much like the Vord, this guy does also include brand new feet, which looks excellent. So you can see here, got an awesome looking foot design, very alien and abstract looking. And we've got some mud and dirt applied in order to give you a weathered appearance. Now this here is just the generic Sensorite, but we also do get included the Sensorite Elder. And the only main difference here between the two is that this particular figure has got the sash. So just taking a closer look here. You can see how that does look harnessed onto the figure. Sadly, it doesn't look as if though it's removable. So for those who wish to army build this, you are in fact going to have to cut this section off if you wish to just have a generic sensor right. But I think this guy looks excellent as well. You can see amazing attention to detail. Overall, just a fantastic set. This particular set, as well as the Keys of Mariner set, in my opinion at least, are the best B&M collector sets that we've gotten up until this point. And I just cannot wait to see where character options take this particular line in 2022. As honestly, these guys are so 
so well done. And so, to wrap up this review for the all new Doctor Who 2021 B&M Collectors range, honestly, I think these are awesome sets. In regards to the Dalek packs, as always, character options continue to knock it out of the park. They create some of the best Dalek sculpts I've personally ever seen, and the attention to detail, as well as the paint apps, specifically this year, are excellent. The gunmetal Dalek looks great, and I love that we are finally getting a mutant scoop Dalek variant to add to the collection, especially considering we got that 3.75 inch figure way back in 2013. It's great to actually get it here in the 5 inch range. And in regards to the 3 packs, I mean, they're just awesome. You have to pick them up if you are a Doctor Who action figure collector. The Sensorites are awesome figures. They look exactly how they did in the show or as close as possible. And I think that they're really awesome sculpts. Great aliens to actually add to the collection as of course we've merely only really gotten Daleks and Cybermen and then of course the Mechanoid for the first Doctor. So it's great to actually get these guys. And the same can also be said for the Vord. I think they're excellent looking figures. They use a great body mold, that being Sharis Jack. So we've got that additional articulation where the shoulders are concerned. And I think the Vord are everything that I could have wanted. And of course, this particular wave marks the first release for a first Doctor companion in the five inch range, that being Ian Chesterton. And I think that guy too has turned out really nicely, especially where that head sculpt goes. And considering we've got him released, we're no doubt going to be seeing Susan and Barbara on the horizon. So overall, I can highly recommend every single one of these sets. I'm so happy, so impressed with all of them. And I believe they're all retailing for $19.99, which is a great price, especially for those three packs, considering how extortionate the prices used to be on the original Forbidden Planet exclusives. So definitely really awesome. You have to go hunting for these. I do believe they are scheduled to be released sometime in August, whether that be at the beginning or the middle of August, judging from past experiences. I imagine it will sort of be around the end of the second week, very early third week. So definitely be on the lookout for them. But I want to say a massive thank you to Character Options for sending these figures here my way for review. And I'd love to know down in the comment section below on what you guys think of both the review and these figures. I thank you all for watching and until my next review I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.